showing you, hi Cece, I'll be showing you the entire Turkish getup. Um, if you're not quite at that place yet where you can't do the whole entire thing, um, then that's totally fine. You're just going to get to what's, what part of the movement that you can get to. There is an element of hip mobility involved, and I'll touch on that when I get to that spot. Um, so you're just going to go to the spot where you feel most comfortable and work from there. Um, it can be always something you can work on trying to get the move all the way from top to bottom. Um, the other thing is, too, I'm going to demo it with a pedal ball, but you don't necessarily have to if you're still kind of working on your form. Just have your arm up in the air. You don't have to have weight. Another good tool to practice with is actually taking your shoe off. Have your knuckles nice and flush with the ceiling, and you can actually balance your shoe on top of your knuckles and do the whole movement that way, too. So that's actually a really good way to hone in on your form with that one. So I'm going to try and demonstrate this. I don't know if Cece's going to let me do this right now. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so I have my kettlebell next to me, right where next door Cece is sitting. You got a safety wide, you want it next to you. You're going to roll over onto your side and use your whole body to turn into, on your back to the position that you need to be instead of lying on your back and trying to pull the kettlebell up from there that can put your shoulder in a really awkward position. Um, and kind of up your risk for uh, shoulder injury too, especially as you progress with heavier kettlebells. So you definitely want to be careful of that. Take the extra second, roll to the side, pick up your bill, and then roll to your back. So roll to the side, roll up. Whatever arm the kettlebell is in, that knee is going to be up as well. And you're going to push off of this heel and you're gonna roll onto this elbow. So arm is at your side. Just go over a little bit so you can see. Kettlebell's gonna be nice and straight and pointed toward the ceiling the entire time. So push through your planted heel onto your elbow. So you'll come here, do not bypass this step. Kettlebell is still up nice and high, you're looking up at it the whole time. From here, you're gonna come up to your hand and you want your fingers to face away from you. From here, you're gonna press up through this heel and this hand, and then this is usually the point where a lot of people get to, and this is where they practice too. So they'll do the sit-up part, and they'll get to here, and then they'll come back down and reverse it. But if you can do the entire thing, you're gonna lift your hip up, so you have all this space here to slide your leg under, and you're gonna line that knee up with your hand, like that. Then from here, you hinge back on that back knee. You can either winch over this leg around or you can bring that leg in front. And then from here, you're going to push through this heel, stand all the way up from your lunge, all the way up. And then you'll just reverse it. So you'll step back, drop your back knee, move that leg out. This hand's gonna come down in line with your knee and your foot. Again, just like when you were coming up, you're going to push up to that heel and this hand, sit all the way down, down to your elbow, and all the way back down again. You can either continue to do that, the number of reps on that side, or you can roll over to the side and then switch and do the same thing on the other side. Um, a couple main points. Like I said, you want to keep that bell above your head the entire time. Um, and then the other thing is when you are at this point, you can't really see my legs in the way, but you want to make sure that, that heel is planted the entire time. So when you go over to that heel and this hand as you go to lift up, um, and even on the reverse too, so make sure that those are planted when you go to slide that leg back through. It will keep you in the most stable position for that one. Um, and same thing up and down. When you're here, you want those fingertips to be pointed away from you. Again, just push your shoulder in a little bit more of a comfortable position. So work up to what you can with that one. Take your time. Don't rush through it. Don't skip the part of going from your elbow to your hand or vice versa. Um, and try and have some fun with that one. <laughs>